Before we multiply or divide inequalities, I want to take you through this little exercise. Let's look at this inequality. 6 is greater than 4. We could all agree that that's in fact true. Now we're going to go through a few operations to see how negative integers, how they affect our inequalities. If I were to multiply the same inequality, 6 is greater than 4, I want to multiply both sides by 3. Remember, whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. So that's why it's always going to be the same on both sides. Well, 3 times 6 is 18, and 3 times 4 is 12. So now we look. Is 18 greater than 12? Yes, that's still a true statement. Now we're going to do another one. This time we're going to be multiplying both by the number 2. So we have 6 is greater than 4, and we're going to multiply both of these by the number 2. 2 times 6 is 12. 4 times 2 is 8. Is 12 greater than 8? Yes, it is. That is also a true statement. Now this time we're going to multiply both sides by negative 2, and let's see what happens. We have 6 is greater than 4, and we're multiplying both sides by our negative 2. Negative 2 times 6 is negative 12. And, neg and 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Is negative 12 greater than negative 8? No, it's not. That is a false statement. This time we're going back to our same. 6 is greater than 4. We're going to be dividing each number by 2. So we divide each number by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And 4 divided by 2 is 2. Is 3 greater than 2, than 2? Yes, it is. That's a true statement. Now we're going to divide each of these numbers by negative 2. So we start with 6 is greater than 4. We're going to divide by negative 2 on each side. 6 divided by negative 2 is negative 3. And 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. Is negative 3 greater than negative 2? No, it's not. That is a false statement. Now I want you to pause this video and complete the other side of this worksheet. So now you should have noticed that any time you're multiplying or dividing by a negative number, our answer is coming out false. In order to make this a true answer, we have to reverse the sign. Now that's a key concept when we're dealing with inequalities. When we multiply or divide to solve an inequality and our number has a negative integer, you have to reverse the sign. We're going to do a few problems so that you can see this. To solve this problem, negative 9b is less than or equal to 45, we begin by isolating the variable. To do this, we're going to divide both sides by negative 9. Now that I've divided both sides by negative 9, I'm going to rewrite the problem. B, now remember, we divided by a negative number, so we need to reverse the sign. So B is greater than or equal to negative 5. Now, it's really important that you start using some um, method of checking your answer. So I'm going to put a number that I know is correct. B is greater than negative 5. Let's pretend B is equal to 0. Because 0 is greater than or equal to negative 5. So now we're going to substitute this back into our problem to double check that our answer is indeed correct. This is very important when we're having to reverse the signs to double check your work. So negative 9b, or negative 9 times 0, should be less than or equal to 45. Negative 9 times 0 is 0, and 0 is less than 45. Now if I want to graph this solution, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my circle at the negative 5. And B, because B is all numbers greater than or equal to negative 5, I need to shade in my number, and I'm going in the greater than direction. For this problem, we have that 4A is greater than or equal to the number 12. To solve, 
I isolate the variable by dividing by 4 on each side, and I'm left with a is greater than or equal to the number 3. 4 is a positive number. There's no need to reverse the inequality. In order to graph this, I'm drawing my circle. It's an equal to or greater than, so I'm filling it in, and a is all numbers greater than or equal to the number 3. To solve this problem, negative 16 is greater than or equal to 2r. To do this, we're just going to divide by 2 on both sides and rewrite our problem. Negative 8 is greater than or equal to r. Now, a lot of people are going to make the mistake of reversing the signs because of this negative sign. However, we're not dividing by a negative number. We're dividing by a positive number. Therefore, we do not reverse the sign. So what we're left with is negative 8 is greater than or equal to r. Sometimes this can be awkward. My preference is to rewrite it so that r is less than or equal to negative 8. And the re reason I rewrite is it's really easy to make a mistake in drawing the arrow in the wrong direction. So I'm going to graph this now, and it's negative 8 is greater than or equal to r. So all real numbers are less than negative 8 because r is less than negative 8. Now to divide an inequality. t divided by negative 24 is greater than 2. In order to solve this, I'm going to do the inverse operation. So instead of dividing by negative 24, I'm going to multiply by negative 24. I'm going to be doing that to both sides. So what I'm left with is t, oh, and watch, it's a negative integer. Therefore, remember what we have to do is reverse the sign. So in this case, it's t is less than negative 48. So to graph this, we're going to draw our circle. Notice it's a less than. It's not an equal to. Therefore, I'm not going to shade it. So t is all numbers less than negative 48. To sum up, when we're solving inequalities where we're multiplying or dividing by a negative coefficient, it's important to reverse the sign.